Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to show you how an optical fibre works. In England we spell fibre B-R-E, I know in America B-E-R. Okay, first of all, uh, looking at a more traditional thing, this is a solid prism of glass. A prism, triangular in this case, 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 prism of glass. If I have a beam of light coming in here, through the side it goes into the glass and it's reflected from the inside of the glass and will be reflected out back the way it came. This is used in binoculars uh, to extend the length of the tube so that they can be quite small instead of having to be long like a telescope. So in binoculars we see this arrangement already well known, this idea of total internal reflection. It works if the angle here between what we call the normal, this line, and the ray is more than 42 degrees. Well, 45 degrees here. If we have an optical fibre, we have the same situation. The interesting thing about an optical fibre is that, in fact, it is solid glass. It is not a tube. People often see a diagram and think it's a tube. It is not. There's no air inside it. It's solid glass. Very often the glass is different in density at the outside from the inside. The glass, nature of the glass changes slightly. And that means that this process isn't quite like total internal reflection. But it works in the same way. The light ray comes in and because the angle at which it hits the side of the fibre is greater than this 42 degrees, this means that it is reflected. Nothing comes out of the glass. And in fact, fibres are also coated, but they're not coated to keep the light in. They're coated to protect the fibre. So you get continuous reflections down the light fibre and out it comes at the other end. Now, can you imagine if you had a thousand or a million of these fibres in a bundle, the light going in at this end, depending on where it lands in that bundle, will come out at the other end. Each, as long as the bundles are in the same order as it comes out, an image at this end will be exactly the same as the image at the other end. In other words, you can use this optical fibre to transmit pictures, which is what they do when they use one of these scopes that goes inside the body, it has an optical fibre and the optical fibre brings back the information. Optical fibres now are used not just for this though, the most common use nowadays of course is in telephony. Telephones and uh, radio and TV. So cable relies on these fibres the light is directed down them and little pulses of light are sent down and these pulses of light are what brings your telephone to you and is in fact what is bringing my image to you at this very minute. 